Hey, Team Gainer, welcome to a game called Suffer the Night. Now, if you didn't know, I played this game a long time ago on the channel, and I loved it. But the full game is finally out today, and today is a special video, because there's a dog over there that won't stop whining, and I'm in a house where I'm trying to be quiet. So, we're gonna see what happens. If you guys like this video, like it. If you like this video and my wondrous personality, you should just subscribe. And if you don't like the dog whining, you should dislike the video and tell me to make the dog be quiet. In the description below, we have Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Discord, merch, and a book that I wrote, as well as an audiobook that is going along with it episodically. But other than that, I think you guys should stick around and enjoy the video. We have to crawl and crouch? Alright, we gotta roll up our sleeves, guys. We gotta roll up. Crowbar Magnum Shotgun? What? Yo. Okay. Alright. We're going right into it. I am actually really nervous. Um, editor me, can you play a clip of uh, me playing the old game where I scream? The text said that the man woke up and screamed. And then the radio turned on. Shut up! <laughs> Thank you. So, that's what I'm trying to not do in today's video. It's, it's going to be very ASMR-y. Sorry if there's plosives. This mic is not the best for ASMR because there's no plosive protection. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to be quiet. Whispering in horror games, hugest, just the biggest no-no in my eyes. I, I hate whispering. I must have dozed off. Jeez, the storm is really picking up. I don't remember if there was voice acting before, but uh, it's really good. I check the radio for an update on the storm. It's kind of funny, because uh, this is kind of how I live now, uh, in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Um, where's the radio? Dog. Dog. It's okay, dog. Oh, oh god, okay. So we can actually... I don't remember if we could interact with these before. Nice camera. Maybe when the storm passes I can go out and take some more photos. Alright. I remember thinking that this lady that we play as is my kind of girl. I should check the radio for an update. Where's the radio? That's the phone. Yeah? That's the phone. This is Harold. Harold, you're looking fine. Um... Ah, radio. I remember. Don't be loud, please. I can't handle this. If you're loud, I'll be sad. Ooh, I remember that noise. I grew up with that. Biggest fear ever was that noise. I was terrified of tornadoes. Sleepy Woods Mountains, is that a real place? Given that this game is called Suffer the Night, I believe it takes place on one night, uh, and that we are going to return to the radio a few times uh, on the hour, like he just suggested. Well, we listen to the radio. So, what are we going to do now? Maybe leave? Ah, yes. Oh. These are different. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. I really like her voice. Um, yeah, these are different, I think. That's definitely different. Cover art, I painted. Yeah, I forgot she's uh, an artist. I need an artist like this for my book. Uh, if, if you are an artist that wouldn't mind uh, working on a book that I would require that you read first, um, I would, I would love, I would love that. Uh, contact me on Discord or my email. Both are in the description below. Oh, oh, look at all this paint area. That'd be so cool. Yeah. 
Um, I the current cover art of the book I did myself, but I'm looking to do a volume two with updated art, uh, new things. The FPS just dipped considerably. So sorry about that. Uh, right, I was getting coffee. Maybe I could turn the settings up a little bit, but the frame rate dipping is a little bit of an issue. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. I need a coffee pot. Oh, right. You're cleanly. That was unnecessary. I need ground coffee beans. Okay. Who doesn't keep their coffee beans next to their coffee pot? If it's not, like, right here, what are you even doing? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, a few sounds in horror games get under my skin really quickly. Uh, one is whispering. It drives me absolutely nuts. Uh, another is ticking clocks. Uh, and then um, the third one that I can think of at the moment is crying of any kind. There's a scratching sound. It might... Okay, it's real life. <laughs> it's real life. One moment. There's now a cat in here. And the dog really doesn't like the cat being in here. Actually, though, where is the coffee beans? Uh. Where the fuck does this bitch keep her fucking coffee beans? Eventually. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do the bread thing. I leave my butter on the counter uh, with a lid over it so that it is always room temperature so that it uh, melts easier when you're putting it on stuff. Um, now where the fuck is the coffee? She just eats casually standing up. Coffee beans! I tried to click that like seven times! Right, now we got coffee. God. I forgot to put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. I this is a pet peeve more than something that scares me. But when game developers put eating noises in their video games to make it more realistic, don't do without, dude. The that shit makes me want to kill people. That shit makes me want to be the villain of this game. I want to kill my character just because she lip smacked like that. Maybe I am the, the the pale guy that keeps showing up. This is a big ass house. She must get paid great for her art. Sorry, I just swallowed weird. That was really loud in the microphone. I apologize. I need a basket of dirty laundry first. Um. That's a load to you. What a small load. The hell? All right, we saw a little man. That was the front doorbell. Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? Let's go talk to Michael Jackson. Oh, I hate the red. It scared me. When did this envelope get here? Oh, look at that. None of this would happen if we didn't live alone. So the moral of the story is don't live alone. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on cold, wet stone with a dog whining behind you and getting on your last nerve. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. One. So you don't have to type anymore, um, which I'm a little bummed about because they could have leaned into the typing and given you an option, um, like hidden a secret option that you could type even though it wasn't clearly an option, and then you'd like find something, you know, like a secret ending or something. That'd be cool. Shut up. 
You slowly rise to your feet. As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull, and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You're in some part of a cavern, or cave. There doesn't seem to be any way forward, other than a tiny gap between two enormous rocks. It is just wide enough to crawl through. Um... I don't remember if this is the same or not. But yeah, I don't have anything to do, so I will just move forward. I'll probably come back there and do something later. <laughs> you emerge from the crawl space into a large cave. It's almost pitch black. With the exception of a single light shining down from a cliff face. You notice a stepladder carved into the stone of the cliff face. It wouldn't be a stepladder if it was carved into rock. It would be a ladder. Uh, we search. We find nothing, so we climb up. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as a breeze blows from down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. We're gonna search again. We find nothing, because we're a bunch of pussies. We go forward. You enter a large open mausoleum. Its chambers empty, except surrounded by flesh, flesh, except surrounded by fresh wax candles. A single, dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. To your right, there's a large wooden double door. We search shit because we're crazy. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. I'm getting text messages from my sister. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgustedly peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand, you take the key. A key was added to your inventory. Yay! So now we. don't do that button. We go to the right. Yay! Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. Why do I feel like I should be looking? Okay, we're good. Okay. Wait, hide screen? What is the point of that? Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. A key is required. We're gonna search. Alright. Just gotta be thorough. We're gonna use the key. If there's a bitch in my house now, he about to meet the business end of a staple gun. Okay. We're gonna search again to be thorough. Alright. Get up. No. I remember that scare. That scare is not gonna get me. Oh, our lights went off. I wanna turn that back on. Uh, this light went off. We don't have any comment about that? Okay. Moving on. You turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. We're gonna search. Like always. Uh, but there was nothing, so we're gonna go forward. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sub I've never known how to say that word, sepulcher. It's cur, not chur. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher. Housed inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. We're gonna search, cause we're cra- Easy. Stop. You check inside the urn, expecting to find ash. But inside, the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off. 
Perhaps a family heirloom? You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. Lighter was added to your inventory. Hell yeah! You attempt to proceed, but the path is obscured by darkness. Use the mother fucking lighter, bitch. What the hell was that? It sounded like now, an explosion. Now, we ourselves oh, because that was out. terrifying. Uh, a transformer exploded, I believe. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the easel. That was there before. Okay. I don't know how much they're changing from the original. It looks yeah. like the transformer blew. Lightning must have struck it. Yes, because that's, that's, I suppose that does actually happen, but like, sure it wasn't some dude, because you got a strange floppy disk in your mail that was a horror game? Yeah, good thing we have a generator. But, I don't think we have Wi-Fi. If I was alone, in a big ass house, during a storm, I wouldn't be happy. Alright, just saying that. But, if I was alone, in a big ass house, in a big ass storm, and somebody sent me a creepy ass floppy disk and then the power went out? Th that's the end of the line. Not going anywhere. I think the dog finally settled down. See, I knew I'd have to come back here. Okay, we're good. Our arcade machine turned off. I wonder if that was a secret. If we could play it and learn something. Um, Damn, I forgot to refuel the generator the last How inconvenient. Hi, Michael Jackson. Oh, God, I forgot how much I fucking Shit. hate this game. A fuse must have blown. What that do you mean a fuse must have blown? The power's out. Do you know nothing about power? Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go to the garage now and get a flashlight so we can be less scared all the time and I'm gonna run because I'm scared all the time. Alright, flashlight. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for the generator there. You know what I don't get is this man is We don't actually know what this man is. But I'm gonna assume that he is excuse me, physical. Uh and and, and in the world around us, right? So, if he's trying to get into my house, I don't know, maybe he's just trying to torment us, you know? Maybe, if and, and if that's the case, he's doing a good job. But, if he's trying to get us, why not either get us now, or get us, get in the house right now? Because, like, the doors, the doors are unlocked. Are we dropping frames? No, we're not. Hell yeah. We must make bank dude what is that oh that's gas gasolina gasolina fucking hell so yeah we have a boat so there might be like an escape ending <sighs> did not appreciate that there's a ducky hello ducky uh catch and release I would love to live in a place like this, but, like, have, like, a neighbor, like, across the lake or something. What is that? Is it just a random-ass rock? Whatever. It'd be cool if, like, you could somehow spot him. Like, it didn't direct your attention towards him, but you saw him just randomly. If that was, like, a possibility. That'd be terrifying to really build the suspense some. I, I feel like it's still nighttime, you know? So, like, why would we get up and, like, worry about the, the power and the generator and stuff? I feel like if the power goes out at night and you can't just, like, flip a switch to get it back on, just go to back to bed and worry about it in the morning. And that should restore the power. Yes. Uh, so now the power, the phone line is cut, if it follows the game the way it did. Uh, phone. Oh, uh, phone is in my room. I forgot about that. What is this? Turntable? table? Hell yeah. Can I play some?
No, you can't just have good calming music. You have to be a freak. What? There's no signal. The line is dead. No, actually, some guy cut your phone line. The doorbell again. What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? And I feel like at this point, like I, I think his face was on the game, and we also saw him in there. But we, we, we can ignore that. Like if you get scared by something, uh, you don't really like accept all the details. But he's here now. He's right there, and he's terrifying. I feel like there's no point in having a peephole if you have big ass windows on the side of your door. Hello, young lady. May I perhaps come inside and use your phone? What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up Why is he breathing so, like, heavily? Yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines Yeah, that's not what- I love how, as he's breathing up and down, I think his face is slowly showing more and more as he speaks which is really really good by the way he reminds me of the joker from the, the old batman like the first one strangers into my home i'm sorry but you can't come in yeah but like oh see oh there it is Ugh. his eyes aren't yellow though Still accomplishes full creep factor though. I love that you can see him walk around your house. Hi, holy shit, hi. Yeah, why did you tell him that the phone lines are dead? You could have just been like, no, stay out. Yeah, that's normal. It's okay. I don't think we'd be able to hear the cracking though. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, you are a famous artist. Or at least, like, a rich artist. So, maybe he knows you from your illustrations. Maybe. Maybe he's a fan. Um, I'm still trying to explain away the, the supernatural shit. Hello, Stacy. You sick fuck, why are you doing this? I feel like sick fuck doesn't really work yet. He hasn't done anything sick. He, he climbed up a wall, but that's different. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. I, I have a gun. I know you're lying, Stacy. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. And skin you alive. He's so lovely. I quite like him. He's coming to skin me alive. I wish we did have a gun, though. Be be right, lovely. But we've got to finish the game. Uh, in the demo, if you finish the game, he still killed you. So maybe they've added different things. Maybe it's like a choose-your-own-adventure thing. So you know your boy's gonna try and live. All right. Using the lighter, a large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Ah, uh, let's let's search. Ah, uh, okay. We're going forward then. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. We're gonna search. And we're gonna go right. If you're there, I'll kill you. Thank you. Cool. You enter a spacious room with a large wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surround the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. 
Um, let's search. I have a key, right? Uh, it's not the same key, but we can't even try it. Uh, I didn't even try. There was a grinding noise. I didn't appreciate that. The music is so good, by the way. Like, there wasn't any music before he showed up, and now there is. That's just, that's just great. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Uh, search. Nothing. Cool. Go forward. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Get up! Get up! Get up! I hear him crunching. I love our character, honestly. Does all the things. Okay, well, uh, nothing. There was nothing around. So, using your lighter, you illuminate the hallway. It stretches into darkness. The air is stale. Clay urns are scattered all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk, and ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils are, your nostrils and mouth are filled as you breathe it in, causing you to cough. Uh, we're gonna search. Nothing was found. We're gonna go forward. No. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. I wonder... Wait, can we... Okay, we can't uh, lay down yet. I think the moment we lay down is when shit gets real. <laughs> okay. Continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a pulp. The sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but it's lodged too deeply to make out. The hallway continues straight. We're gonna search his... We're gonna rearrange his guts. Ha! <laughs> ah. I don't horribly mind those noises, um, because they're, they actually scare me instead of disgust me. <sighs> but Jesus, man. You reach up into the corpse's abdomen and up through to its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter onto the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange key made of bone. On the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key was added to your inventory. Yay! Uh, we're gonna go back. Back at the double doors, you walk up to them and they slam shut. You race to open them, but they are impervious to your efforts. The way back is impassable. I really feel like he's in the, the room. Maybe I'm just used to Five Nights at Freddy's games, where like you have to go doing something, so there's nothing we can do but go forward. Fuck you, you whispery motherfucker. Oh. I told you guys how much I hate when people whisper in horror games, and I have I have a camera, uh, well, right there, obviously, but there's one right here that's that I can see behind me, so I know that nobody's gonna scare me. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, way back in the channel, um, like a long time ago, when I would do horror games, my sister had a knack for, my sister had a knack for coming up behind me and scaring the fuck out of me. Why do you think my camera almost always faces a door? <laughs> because I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I can see the door. I can see the only way in and out of the room. Um, for if she decides to get a little sneaky. Okay. You reach the end of the hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the window, allowing no escape. I feel like I could fit in there. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life but see nothing except for the moon. I brought a friend. He's lovely. 
You okay? A gibbet cage is off to your left. Behind it, the path continues. Uh, search. Always gotta search. Cover your ass. All right, nothing. Go forward. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top, with wax candles attached all around. A gust blows past you, but its source is not apparent. Uh, we're gonna search. Oh. Then you inspect the brazier. You see that it has a crawl space concealed behind it. You drag the brazier while straining under its weight till it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit. We are going to wait for just a damn second because I'm getting nervous. This... I don't think this was in the demo. I don't remember it. Um... Yeah, there's no other option we can go, so we're gonna crawl. You go into the confined passage. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? Okay, now we react to that. It sounded like it came from downstairs. Was the shower on? No, the TV is on. Downstairs. I don't like when sound doesn't carry correctly. Right, this is when we go into the garage. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. What's up, Michael Jackson? Stacey. Don't whisper, you fucking cuck. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. Yeah, so based on his behavior, I'm thinking that he's really trying to torture us. We just don't know why. That should do it. I would board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, that was the cat. That was the kitten. Everything is okay. You exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is to your right. On it are tiny candles and what look like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entry is wide open. Uh, we're gonna go left. Actually, we're gonna search. You thought I'd forget, didn't you? You search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. Rope was added to your inventory. Lovely. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Did I just, did he whisper again? No, okay. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground off to the left. Search. Nothing. Cool. Great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, use item. Use the rope on the thing. I feel like in this game, you, the items you get are only needed in, like, the very next room. Um, but I think towards the end, you have to, like, trace back all the way to the beginning to find something. You secure the rope to the wooden bed with a bowline knot. If you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. uninviting. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. He was crawling, clawing at my leg. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, Mr. Camera. <laughs> Toast doesn't like the camera. When he knows it's there. But he's very... He, he's so good at taking pictures. Editor me, put the pictures of him on the screen right now with the sun. Yeah, see how cute that cat is? He, he knew I was taking pictures too. He, I was like, hey dude, pose. And he goes... He's such a prissy little bastard. You lower the rope until you are at the drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash up into a s you splash up into a layer of viscid s fit fuck me. Dog, hush. You suddenly retch, start to heave, and then ultimately throw up. Shut up, dog. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. We're gonna search in the goop. We searched the whole sewer and didn't find anything. Don't paw at me. Uh, cool. Then we go forward.
Fuck. Off. Oh, he's on my keyboard. <laughs> no, no keyboard, please. That's a new one. That that didn't happen in the for, in the demo. Is it going to be me? Oh, that's so cool. That's terrifying. That's so cool, dude. That's actually so fucking cool. God, that's a really good... That's so cool. I knew it was going to be something, like, with him and I both in the picture, but... Oh, dude. Sloshing through the sewage, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. We're going to search. We're not going to find anything, because the dog won't shut up. Is that a bear? What? What's the matter? What? What can I do for you? Oh, you want to play? He really wants to play with me. Alright, the door is now cracked, so I have to be extra quiet. You enter a circular room. There's a st starry way. There's a starry way leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. Now we're getting up because Kanan's gonna shit himself. Approaching the corpse of caution, you push to roll it over. As you do, it springs to life with a blood-curdling shriek. It charges at you, slashing with the claw-like fingernail to evade initial strikes, but then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open and it scurries back before oh, vanishing up the steps. Cool. I feel like we could have not done that and saved ourselves from dying later. What? I'm up. I'm up already. My flashlight's not working. He said, stay, see. What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? Sign the book. I wasn't downstairs. Um, I guess I was. He said, sign the book. I'm not there yet. I'm not at that point in the game. Am I? Do we get in, 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 in? As you move, blood is oozing from you. Uh, we're going to continue to go up. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. I'm getting really nervous, and I'm trying not to show it because I don't want to be loud. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left, behind some cobwebs. We're gonna search. We're not gonna find anything, we're gonna go left. You round the corner into a vast room. Four pillars enclose an enormous wall, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. He climbed up into my desk to get on my lap, and I just felt the fluff of his face. The fluff of his face. We're gonna search, like we always do. You reach the guardrail. As you get closer to the well, you ow! You examine the water and notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural learning to uh, yearning to grab it. We're gonna try. You reach. N. You reach for the strange orb. Just as you do, the robed creature emerges from its depths, its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. Strange orb was added to your inventory. Skulls and bones, carefully placed in a macabre pattern, litter the small passage. At the very end, its brazier sits, its flame lit like a beacon. We're gonna search. Oh, Fuck off! Oh, he was there actually. God, I think I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's okay, honey. I am too. You denizens reach a pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two brazier from the earth. A golden statue of a hand raises its fingers are positioned as if it were holding something. Uh, search. Nothing is found. Look at statue. Wait, what? Wait. Use item. Oh yeah, you put the orb on it. I'm stu. Bid. Uh, cool. 
You place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks silently into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensif intensifies. A large round stone slab begins to rise. For a brief moment, dust and debris fill the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been there. We go forward. I don't want to. I'm getting really nervous, and the dog not shutting up is really stressing me out. Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped mountains. All the way up, they are ornamented with rows of skulls and bones. A lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. We're going to search because we're nuts. Now we're going to go forward. Oh, fuck you. Holy shit. I didn't even see where he was. Uh... I don't know how much more of this I can take. God. My cat jumped on my lap again. Uh, you arrive before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier constructed of numerous bones. The path goes to the right. We're gonna search, because of course. Examine the gleaming statue, the basin. Uh, blood is the bond, blade is the key. Right. So... We need to get a knife uh, and come back. I remember that part. That was part of the demo. It's not a spoiler. A spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by light from above. Right and left graves have been dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. Search. Go up. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra made of bones. A balcony looking down on the golden statues directly ahead. Search. Nothing. Cool. Go right. You approach the passage and see that it is blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Search. You begin to rotate the counterweight lever. The gate begins to rise. You continue until the passage is open. Cool. Hi. Ah, the radio. He's a lot more social than he was before. And I know I'm kind of just like freezing up and I'm not being an entertaining person every time I see it. What the f- Okay, you can see your hair if you wake back too much. Okay. 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 I'm trying to contain myself. He's really freaking me out. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines from the gaps in the doors. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. Search. Okay. We're gonna go forward. You push the doors open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room, and you can see what you're back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are on the opposite side now, inside the iron cage. Search. Nothing is found. Go forward. Nothing is found. What the fuck? Um... Do we have an item? Oh, I have a key! I forgot! You turn the strange key after inserting it inside the skull's mouth. This is how we get the knife. Cool. Go back. 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 Go forward, actually. There we go. Okay. You cut a gash in the palm of your left hand with a particular blade. What does that sound signify? You, you, you bleed, you bleed. Search the area. As you notice, uh, da -ba -da. try to locate the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path. As you get close to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gear spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way back. Go up. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their light reflects off the marble floors and polished granite pillars. A chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettlingly quiet. This didn't happen in the first game, I don't think. What? Oh, hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Come here. Look at this big old bear. This little cuddle bear. She's huge. Your heart begins to race. And you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread. No shit. You walk to the table. A few candles and a solitary book with a quill are placed on top of it. A figure in a black suit and a top hat, our friend the Pale Man, is seated behind the table. Its hands appear to be fitted with gloves that have knives attached to each finger. Its head is leaning sideways on the table and its face is expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes and various... whatever. Press 1 to search. We're just going to open the book because I can't read this. 
Uh, you finally arrived. What the fuck? Oh, we can't stand up anymore. So yeah, the music is just gone. Oh, and my cat is where a keyboard ought to be. Um, there's a little thing under my desk, a little compartment where you'd put a keyboard. I don't use it. He likes to sleep there. It continues, you've completed all the trials. The key was taken, the orb given, the blood offered, the game is nearly finished. The figure indicates the book. Uh, put your name in the book, sign it, and declare the game over. So there's only one option, and it's to sign the book, and that's what we did last time, Stacy Lydon. I hate that face so fucking much. And that's kind of the point, I know. Cult classic, press 1, continue. I literally can't leave the computer. But, yeah, there's nothing I can do. That looks like my house. You didn't have that reaction when the game said your name? Boom. Oh shit. Oh god. God fucking shit. Okay. We're that up. That sounded like it came from the attic. I think that freak's inside. So yeah, remember when you said you had a gun? Cause that'd be real, real good. Real good. Real, real good about now. And like, in the control scheme it said we had a Glock and a rifle. So, I, 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 I would like those two things, um, now, please. Because this is the part of the demo where we die, and I don't want to die. And if that's all that the- if I paid for this game to be the same as the demo, I'll be kind of salty, not gonna lie. What's up, Pale Man? He doesn't have a name yet, does he? I'm assuming this is one of those stories where, like, the Pale Man is uh, something we painted. Like, it's a creation of ours since we're a horror artist, and it haunts us. Yeah, there's the window he broke in. What's up, pale man? How you, how it hangin', pale man? How it hangin', how it do, what it do, brother? Oh, shit. He came from behind the painting before. Oh, this is new. This is new territory. This has never happened before. Can I save? God, I, I expected to end the video here because it's like really late at night and I'm tired. The flashlight's not working. Yep. This is new territory. Is he just in my house in general now? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. How are we doing? So this is the same. That's the same as before. Oh, okay, now he's dragging us. It better not be. I paid $8 for this. Okay, cool, thanks. He said fear not, so I feel better. Together. Together. Why is he not like us, though? I want to know what personal connection we have. All right. Well, with that, the first loading screen of the game, other than to boot it up, I'm going to end the video here. I've been recording for an hour and six minutes and dealing with this dog whining for the whole video. But I thought, if you guys like this video, like it. If you like this video and my wondrous personality, you should subscribe. If you didn't like this video because the dog was whining throughout the whole video, dislike it. And comment down below what you think I should do better. Mm, Namely, head. shutting the dog up. So... Is it going to continue like the game now? How we like wake up with a headache? I think so. Oh, this is spoopy. Alright. That's all I can take for tonight. Anyway, hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which will hopefully not be a week away. Um, I'll try and get a more consistent game schedule. Whoa. Game crashed. Bah. Alright, bye guys.